Well, hey there, it is Monday, and that means it is time for another Monday mantra, our favorite things to share with you. I love mantras. What is a mantra? It is a way to take back control of your mind. It is a way to get your mindset right so that you can experience and behave in the way that you want and experience the life that you want. So often we don't realize how much just Taking back control of our mind and taking back control of our thoughts can help us do that. So today is Monday. You've got a mantra, a brand new shiny one. Make sure that you tune in. Well, hey there. I am Jennifer Roskamp, a certified life coach and homeschool mom of nine who is passionate about helping women just like you embrace the here and now while also being focused on creating the life you actually want. In reality, it's not about thinking life will get so much better or so much easier when you fill in the blank. Let's work on creating a life you love now. So let's dive in and get started on redefining Supermom to be someone who is present, intentional, and content rather than perfect in our homes, in our lives, and in our own skin. Let's get started. This is the Intentional Mom Podcast. All right, so the mantra I have for you today is start again. Start again. If you are ever someone who fails, right? Fails to keep a promise to yourself, fails to carry out an action that you wanted to do, um, falls short in getting something done, accomplishing a goal, taking a step forward, maintaining a habit, starting a habit, laying down a habit whatever it is you're trying to do. So often we, as humans, we are black and white thinkers, which means if we have diagnosed ourselves as having failed, we tend to give up and we miss out on so much by doing that. And so this is where this mantra start again can come in so handy. When you notice that you get off track, You know, we have the best of intentions, right? But the thing that is so hard is we live on planet Earth and we may have the best of intentions and and really, you know, we may be setting out to do something and we're making progress and then life creeps in and it throws us a curveball. We've got a problem to solve. We've got some sort of obstacle that comes up. We've got something that happened that we now have to divert our attention away from our original plan and away from what we were working on. And we've got to put that attention somewhere else. And so as a result, once our attention gets redirected, it's, it can be really hard to direct our attention back. And so this is some of the reasons why the things that we have planned to do often don't come to fruition exactly as we thought they would. But when we notice that we've gone off the rails, a lot of times we say things to ourselves like, see, I told you you couldn't do it. Or see, I told you it wouldn't be any different this time. Or see, I told you this would be so hard. I told you you wouldn't follow through. I told you you would fail. I told you you would mess up. And then we start thinking about all the reasons why we didn't get it done. Or all the reasons why we started doing something again when we didn't intend to. All the reasons we fail. We like to label ourselves as failure, especially as a failure, especially I find as women. We are super critical of ourselves. And I think we live in a culture and a society where, I mean, social media can be good in many ways, but social media also kind of gets us in this comparison mindset. And again, if we feel like we are falling short, we're so quick to just throw in the towel and say, I give up. This is the best it's going to get. This is all there is. This is the way I am. There's no hope. When you notice that you've gone off the rails, when you notice that maybe you messed something up, don't worry about the why. Don't worry about the how. Stop beating yourself up and just say to yourself out loud, start again. Start again. You don't even have to wait for tomorrow. You don't have to wait for next week. You don't have to wait for a new month. You don't have to wait for some other time that it's going to be the most perfect time to try again or start over. Any moment can be your moment to start again. And sometimes just telling yourself, you know what, start again. It allows you just to stop thinking and overthinking and analyzing and overanalyzing and critiquing and over critiquing. It just cuts through all that noise. This mantra cuts through all that noise and says, you know what, none of that really matters. Just start again and do it now. Start again. 
That's the mantra I have for you this week. When you find yourself getting a little off track this week, call it out, use it, and start again. In our next episode, we've got a guest speaker again. One of our favorite uh, podcast episodes is always when we have amazing wisdom and insight to hear from someone else. So make sure that you are tuning in for our special guest in the next episode of the Intentional Mom Podcast. We'll talk then.